Hello and welcome to Today in Education, TIE. Ty, sorry it's been a little bit since we've done one of these. The news just has not really been popping. But now it is. According to Yahoo Finance, 82% of teachers and administrators report EdTech accelerates learning, according to a 2019 State of Education Technology report. More than 80% of teachers and administrators agree education technology accelerates student learning, according to Promethean's 2019 survey and report analyzing education technology trends and usage. Promethean is a global education company that improves learning productivity by developing, integrating, and implementing innovative 21st century learning environments. As school districts increasingly leverage education technology to improve student engagement and create new learning opportunities, Promethean sought to provide teachers, educational leaders, and industry experts with a comprehensive view of current classroom technologies, adoption, usage, and trends over the next five years. This should come as no surprise probably to most of you, but the next article comes from, I mean that the previous article should come as no surprise. This one might because it comes from Brooklyn, and I've never even heard of Brooklyn until I read this article. Are slow internet connections holding back American schools? That goes to show you how reliable of a source I am, huh? Internet speeds in the United States have for years lagged behind other developed countries. Slow internet speeds have also been an issue for schools, although progress is evident in recent years. In 2012, 70% of schools lacked internet connections fast enough to support basic administrative and instructional needs. But now, only 1.6% of school districts fail to meet that low bar. Despite this progress, the Federal Communications Commission is considering changes to the E-Rate program, which subsidizes internet access in schools across the country. The proposal would cap spending and potentially decrease the funding available to schools. This would threaten recent gains and create additional barriers to helping the few remaining school districts that lack adequate internet connections. So really, the problem isn't that a lot of schools lack these connections, but that the ones who do still need to get caught up, and we don't really want to get in the way of that. This next article comes from People Magazine. Our boy Mark Zuckerberg and Priscilla Chan team up with Sesame Workshop on Early Childhood Education. Mark Zuckerberg and Dr. Priscilla Chan are leveraging their initiative for a good and educational cause. The tech mogul 35 and pediatrician's philanthropic organization, the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative, is working in conjunction with the primary school and Sesame Workshop to help fund a new curriculum that aims to integrate social-emotional learning into early childhood literacy lessons, according to a press release. The Chan Zuckerberg Initiative is proud to support a collaboration between the primary school and Sesame Workshop, Dr. Chan, 34, says in a promotional video before getting a visit from every kid's favorite friendly red monster, no, not Clifford, Elmo, who couldn't be more excited for the project. I thought about doing an Elmo voice, but for your guys' sake, I've decided against it. Thank you so much for listening. Have a wonderful day, and never stop learning.